Hey guys, welcome back to Daniel Rosehill Plus here on YouTube. My name is Daniel Rosehill. This is my second YouTube channel, which is a bit more loosely focused and organized than my main one, which really focuses on everything to do with life in Israel, which is where I live. Uh, but I wanted to do a short video today just showcasing a really useful resource, at least I think it's a very useful resource, um, for anyone really interested in economics and economics as it relates to news, and that's the OECD's data view. And I'll just, uh, I'm going to be low tech today and drag over the URL on this notepad. It's data.oecd. Org. So the OECD has 38 countries sprung out of European uh, economic activity, but now is a broader organization. Um, Israel joined the OECD in 2010, and it's very much used here as sort of a benchmark for Israel's how it's doing um, against the developed world, broadly speaking, across different uh, indices and I'm just going to show you guys how to do that. One really cool thing I like about this uh, OECD data liberation goodness is that you can use it in a very simplistic manner through the, through a web browser and just look for indicators or if you want to kind of go down the um, sort of you know more advanced route they do have an API that you can access and you can even directly query their data warehouse. So whatever stage you're at in terms of you know your level of sophistication and technological know-how in accessing data uh, you can do that so i'm just going to again this is my own whistle stop tour the oecd has its own little youtube video but i thought i'd give an external perspective on uh, how to make use of it so the kind of top selectors here at the top are browse by topic and you've got a bunch of different sort of metrics that they keep and all this stuff is all the data that they're visualizing here is available in like these big chunky PDFs. I've kind of cross-referenced it, but obviously it's a lot more presentable um, the way they do it here. So they don't pull it out of the sky. Obviously it does have sources, uh, but I think they've done a great job at um, making it visual. So this is the first way you can do it. You can click on topic or you can go by country. So I'm going to show both. And for country, I'll do Israel because that's where I'm looking at. And uh, you kind of get this like dashboard with the key indicator. As you can see, Israel has 9 million people. According to the OECD, uh, our math ranking is 33 out of 41, which is low. And the fact that it's 41, um, I think, reflects the score. The GDP per capita metric there coming in just short of 50K. And we can see where that falls. And then, as you can see, we have all these different... Um, indicators available for Israel, like the reading performance as assessed by the PISA, which is basically an attempt to um, compare the effectiveness of education systems internationally across key competencies like mathematics and reading. So if I click into this one, for instance, this chart, we're going to get pre-selected with Israel here. And you can see that where we sit is surprisingly towards the bottom of the table with Indonesia here on the far left and Estonia and Ireland right near the top. Um, and if you click on a data point like Israel's data point, you can see where it originates from. In this case, is the uh, information originates in 2018 for boys and for girls from 2018. So obviously when you're doing stuff like reading data, it's very important to know when that data derives from. So in this case, it's five-year-old uh, information and some of the data here, maybe different points. Um, I'll show you how to use these things in a bit, but let's jump back to data.oecd.org. And instead of going by country, I'm going to choose a topic. And you can also search it. So I can search for the Gini indicator, Gini coefficient. And I will get income inequality as an indicator. Um, again, if you want to do stuff like get the data warehouse, you can do that. Um, and you can call that up through the search. But I'm focusing on the simple stuff. And you can also filter by those types. API access for regional well-being. But let's jump into filter by type indicator. And let's go for the classic Income inequality is measured by the Gini coefficient or the 
Jenny coefficient. I'm always I'm always worried. I'm saying it wrong. Sorry if uh, well w- w- one of those two one of those two attempts has to be correct. I think. So this is the OECD shown by the Gini coefficient, and again Israel's here. But if you want to, if you're interested in a different country, you can click on this little dialogue thing called highlighted countries and you can play around with it. So let's say I wanted to have Israel and the OECD average or the EU. Uh, Actually, they don't have those average indicators for all of them. Let's say I want to do Israel and Ireland. I'm originally from Ireland and I now live in Israel. So these two countries are always of interest to me. So we can see here they've they're now highlighted on the graphs with Ireland uh, coming in at zero point two eight two, according to twenty its twenty twenty measure on the Gini coefficient, and Israel coming in at zero point three four according to its twenty twenty measure on the Gini coefficient. So in other words, Israel is more unequal than Ireland as we go towards one. That's perfect inequality and zero is perfect equality. So of the OECD member states, we can see the Costa Rica coming in at 0.49, according to 2021 data, is the most unequal country in the OECD or has the greatest level of income inequality. And just to, just to point out again, you can see this is 2021 data for Costa Rica and this we're looking at 2020 data. And these data data points are reported by the National Statistics Body. Other cool things you can do is uh, once you've got a graph you're interested in like this one, you can throw it onto your pin board and you can download this um, for full indicator data or selected data only. Uh, You can toggle between seeing it as a chart, a bar chart, or as a table. And, uh, you know, the table can be useful if you just want to. And you can filter quickly on these variables and copy and paste that. So if you want to design a graph, you know, based on uh, based on this. Let's go back to chart because I think it's more attractive. By default, you're looking at the latest data available, but you can take that off. And you can choose to see a more historical snapshot. So if I did 1995 to 2021, and you can see really for Ireland and Israel, um, where the data is originating from, and you can decipher the more long-term trends. And in this case, we can't uh, filter on quarterly or monthly. Um, so I'm just going to go, I'm just going to click back onto latest data available because usually that's one of most interest. Um, what else can you do that is good and interesting here? You can uh, create a chart and you can share it by email, by Twitter, or you can embed it as an iframe into your website. So if you find a chart that is particularly interesting, or you can screenshot this and uh, redesign it, they give you a way to cite it appropriately. Related publications, they index. So if you want to look at like something that mentions the Gini coefficient metric, you can say, let's say, how's life from 2020? And uh, whenever my slow internet loads that up, there is going to be a download link to that uh, PDF. Actually, it's uh, it's not free. It's a £31 PDF available also as an EPUB for folks on the uh, folks on the e-reader. Those are really the, the key ones. The other really useful things that I find, we're going to select background all. And I'm going to change that to um, European area. So we have a choice between all countries... Um, the OECD, the EU, the Euro area, not the same thing, of course, the G7 and the G20. So what I have now is income inequality, Ireland and Israel highlighted, and the only other countries shown are the uh, EU member states. So we can see that Bulgaria, according to the latest Gini coefficient data from 2020, has the highest Gini coefficient from the EU member states. Obviously, Israel's not in the EU Uh, But, you know, to compare our income inequality as if Israel were in the EU, this is an interesting uh, chart just to pull up. And what's really amazing, just going back to the homepage here, is just the diversity of metrics. You can really just kind of go crazy here. Economic ones, education, government, finance, environment, 
all of them and really if you click into a category like jobs let's say there are nestled under jobs that's just a heading and we've got one two three four five six you know seven different indicators at least within each subcategory and you can really really drill down into this data and derive some insights uh, related to your country hope this has been useful if you're also interested in um, looking at these official stats from the oecd and the news and they can um, really be useful for comparing different aspects of socioeconomic performance uh, between countries thanks for watching and uh, if you want to get more videos from me do please consider subscribing to this youtube channel